Many of you may remember this incident that we covered on the channel just a few weeks ago of now former Republican Rhode Island City Councilman Matthew Riley getting caught sleeping at the wheel with a pipe and a lighter in his hand. Oh, no way, dude, really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Uh, well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Wait, sorry. Listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. Now, for whatever reason, the officer mutes his body cam during this portion of the search, which should obviously never be allowed during an active investigation, when he finds a container that held what was described as a white rock-like substance then later turned out to test positive for both crack cocaine and fentanyl, according to local authorities. And as court records show, Riley was arrested and charged with possession of a Schedule 1 to 5 controlled substance and was taken in by the Cranston PD. Oh, yeah. All right. You've taken in some fentanyl, Matt, and that's, that's you know, we've got to make sure you're... You, you don't, may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, you, no, I've never done that before. feel terrible so. about that, you know? You're not going to be there all day. You'll be in and out. I'm going to keep your wallet with me. I have your phone already. Do you okay. want me to throw this stuff in the car real quick? Sure. All right. Just step on in here. I'll buck you up. Oh, wait. Yeah, who's going to come side. get that car? I this is a full cage. What's that? Get in here. Who, oh. Who's going to come get this car wrapped up? I would. Huh? I would. All right. Listen, so you got to clean this car up. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be going back in, in tomorrow. Oh, my car's getting fixed. Oh, this isn't even your car? No, it's a rental. It's a loaner. All right. Car. Yeah. All right. I mean, there's, there's a seat. No drugs on the seat. Oh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't drunk. I have an appointment on, on the 17th. All right. So. I'll crack a window for you in a second. Okay. With Riley set to appear in court on June 15th on these drug charges, you would assume this is probably just another low point in his life, considering he's been dealing with substance abuse issues for years in the past as well. But new reporting from Providence Journal, which was picked up by the Daily Beast and other outlets, reveals some new evidence that would show that this probably isn't the only thing on his mind. Mostly because he was just arrested yet again and charged with both first degree and second degree child molestation and sexual assault of a minor under 16. The investigation reportedly involved multiple local and state departments and was actually ongoing during his first arrest for possession back in May after an adult stepped up on behalf of his 12-year-old child accuser. Riley's attorney said that he is pleading not guilty to the charges, saying in short that we should just trust the process of the legal system and wait for the facts of the case to come to light, which is entirely fair and is what we're going to do as well as we keep you updated on this court proceeding as it goes along. But many are potentially left wondering exactly how, you know, conservative pundits and also elected officials will be following this case going forward, considering the outcry and the narrative over fentanyl and drug use and the way that we're looking to crack down on these things, well, it happened here with one of their own. It's time to hold everyone's feet to the fire. And on top of that, considering the grooming and pedophilia, which is a very important charge and very important things they're looking to shore up in this country, is it just political or is it something we need to take care of no matter who it is uh, that's dealing in these types of issues, whether they have an R or a D next to their name?